crazy. He doesn't say dead yet. He has battery, right? What the fuck? Not cool, bro. <laughs> oh, I charged it. Now I just have to go back to the lower floor. Calm down. This plan is also no one sees me. Oh no! What? Testing, testing. Can you hear me? It's your friendly policeman on the air. How's everybody doing? What? Well, I'd love to explain everything, but unfortunately there's no time. If you can hear my voice, I've got a request for you. Bring the ID card to the classroom. I need Sarah to do it, and for her to come alone. I'm counting on you. <sighs> what is happening? What the hell was that? That was my voice. Damn it, what do I do? Well, fucking so, do something. Nobody here. What in the world's going on? So, you really were alive. Oh, wait, that's Ranmaru. <laughs> How do you feel, Keiji? Is he gonna kill me? Are you gonna kill me? <laughs> Did you make that broadcast? Yep, found a nice voice changer function. You got some business with me? I might. Hand over Midori's head. Not seeing where you're going with this. I heard it all over the transceiver. You killed Kuramazik, Keiji. I didn't kill him? Right? I... I didn't kill him. I trusted you. Sarah, too. She trusted you the most. But look at you with scrutiny, it's clear. Keiji, you... You're with Asunara, aren't you? Keiji doesn't say, I don't understand. Keiji keeps this cool. He flips it. He's gonna flip the script on him. What's this all of a sudden, Ranmaru? Sarah, she... She signed a consent form. Huh? She was brought here by someone's wish. Put into a desperate situation for someone's sake. And at last, she signed the invitation. Keiji, are you the one who brought Sarah here? Why me? I generally... I... Renru, we have known each other for three hours. Where are these all coming from? Why would it be me? Renru, this is just jealousy. You just want to be closer to her. The one who protects her isn't that right. <laughs> so what? This is not the time for romance. Guys, I gotta be honest. I've been kind of shipping characters. This is really not the time for romance. You think you can save Sarah? I can do it. I'll save her from this damn death game. You can't. Shut up. Come on. Hand over Midori's head already. Wait. Somebody's coming. Hide. Keiji? Finally, the normal voice is back. Woo! There's no one here. Why'd Sarah come here? What are, what are you planning? Ranru held out his left hand. Oh, he fucking gassed me! <laughs> he, he gassed me! Ex-therapist? Or, okay, yeah, I read that wrong. What's this? Keiji, are you there? Don't come here, Sarah. That voice, it's you, isn't it, Keiji? Stay away. Are you the one to call for me? Listen to me. If you survive, then why? Don't come over here, Sarah. Ah, he fucking tased him. Sarah. Stay with us, Sarah. Sarah! Oh my god, you jealous bitch! Time to lock you away. I'll deal with you last. Oh my god, guys! Okay, we're back in the present. <laughs> Oof. Oh, there we go, I'm Sarah again. Where am I? 
You okay? You came too, Sarah. Yeah? Kitaro. You're safe. I'm so... Ah, ow, ow. Hey, hey, don't overdo getting up. Here, big Sarah. You want water, yeah? I see. I lost consciousness from some kind of electric shock. Seems the ID card got pilfered from you. Dash. He he's right, it's gone. Nothing we can do about it. But still, you have to meet back up with guitar, so don't be sad. Me? Then, wh where's Casey? Hmm? He wasn't here anyway, man. What? Uh, unfortunately, we just found you alone collapsed in the classroom. Ugh. <laughs> now look, Big Sister, we found out something amazing, yeah? The banquet. There's a way we can win this game and proceed with the dummies, yeah? Banquet? Oh my god, Keiji has like all the critical information and he's not here. That's a gorilla knows all about it, Wolf. Yeah, which is why I wanted to gather everyone. Ranru said he'd bring everyone here, but... Oh my god, Ranru's gonna kill everyone, isn't he? I brought him. Yo. Rise and shine, Sarah Senpai. Hurry up and get on with the explanation. <laughs> Hold on a sec. I don't see Karamata or Reiko. I, c I couldn't find Reiko anywhere. And also Kurumata. Kurumata is... Huh? Y you can't mean... That that's not true, is it? I mean, he was finally able to see her. <laughs> don't go writing me off, damn it. I'm more stubborn than that. Karamata, you're alive. Ranru, you bastard. Yeah, fuck him up. Fight, 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 fight. What are you doing, Karamata? The locker room on the lower floor. Hurry. What? I said hurry. Before it's too late. Oh my god, Ranmaru! Ranmaru! I'm so sick of I'm so sick of these useless ass characters sabotaging everyone. I'm a, I'm a official Ranru hater, bro. Who's dead? It's about who's about to be dead. When I arrived at the locker room, I saw something before even entering. Something unbelievable. The very worst sight of all. <gasps> Keiji dead? How did this? The legs dangling from the ceiling. And I looked up to see her face. It was hard not to see as a still living human. No! Why? We were all gonna escape together! Why is this happening? Tell me! Oh my god, is Ranru going around fucking killing people? Wrong. Wrong, wrong. This isn't real. You're telling me I s I you're telling me I spent and like two hours going through that fucking negotiation thing and you're gonna kill her anyways? I want us all to leave this place alive. I want to live with my allies. That was how I really felt. You did this, Renmaru. Mm -hmm. I heard the whole thing. After he gave that fake, fake broadcast that sold the ID card from Sarah. He used that card in the control room to activate the companion trap. Targeting Reiko, who's alone in the locker room. You're wrong. I, I was targeting Midori. I would wait for him to finish repairing Maple. Then, what was that about winning? You thought I was dead, so you didn't turn off the transceiver. So you muttered that happily to yourself. What do you mean? Winning is the thing we heard from Maple. You did this? Did you do this? Oh my god, he's gonna kill everyone. Oh my god, he wouldn't fucking... He kind of looks like Killua. Killua! <laughs> Killua! <laughs> Daisuke! <laughs> Anybody worked out as long as I didn't get found out. To think I'd screw up on the first one. Why would you do this? Knowing the clear condition of the banquet. Banquet? Is that good thing going to end the death game? I'll just keep going to the main game. And this is the only way left to save Sarah. Ranmaru! 
You gotta be shitting me. You're horrible. Did you forget us saving you? We became allies. How can how can you kill one? It's you looking to save himself, Sterling. Hey now. When did you side with them, Nako? You. No one's gonna side with you. You won't let you go around killing us. Yahoo! It's getting exciting in here. Midori! Oh dear, Reiko's dead. How weak. You! Midori, what? Want to make a deal? Yeah? Here. Oh my god! Oh my god! You son of a bitch! Why did you betray me? Fucking teammate- fu Fucking teenage hormones? You killed- you killed ten people for a fucking girl? Huh? Why you? Ah, the ID card. This late in the game? Well, sounds amusing enough, so okay. Now then, it's time for hate her debut. Maple's been reborn. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, Ranmaru. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, guys, I'm not gonna say this out loud. I am gonna type it. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> gonna... <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> what is this amalgamation of. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> and away, everyone. What's even going on here? <laughs> I stuffed some powerful AIs into her. Oh my God! Look at how terrified So is. She may look hideous, but I think that's what on the inside would count. I'm gonna slaughter all you bastards together. <laughs> Ooh, my my. So, you're my prey. Help me. <laughs> Why is his voice on high pitch? Help me, guys. Yuri. Now, go, Mabel. Run wild till your battery runs out. We gave... I can't believe we fucking gave the body over to Kid Midori without even trying to... Con we didn't even try to stop him from taking the body. Her battery? What do we do against this thing, man? Settle down. As much as her appearance has changed, she's still the same inside. If we make her spend her battery, she won't be able to move anymore. In other words, we will make her do actions, actions that cost lots of energy. She'll run out of time. Oh my fucking... You know what? He does look kind of cool, though. You, you, you know, if he's going to be killing everyone, at least he looks badass, right? Is Reiko actually dead, though? Like, no way. Is she actually dead? Like, did they actually kill Reiko? I genuinely don't believe she's dead. But she could be. And I'm kind of sad if she is. I hope we can go as smoothly as that. The angry AI started up. No mercy for you bastards. I'll kill you. You're dead. <laughs> He's giving you guys a serious glare. He's a strong hatred of humans. If we can stimulate that somehow. Look. You hate humans and you're working with them? Kind of cringe, Ranger. Hmm? Ironic. Oh my god, look at the poor, he's terrified. <laughs> oh, the Shin AI. Oh god. Okay. Let's be intimidating. No. Shin AI, sad face. I can use my fist to wreck at least one of those monitors. The monitors don't do anything, okay? The monitors are just there because it's funny. Well, I got a weapon. I'll try throwing this to attack. No, we kind of need the weapon. Don't throw it. She has, like, a fucking chainsaw, okay? She's gonna slice it in the air. Let's loosen it up with some jokes. Yep. <laughs> Whenever are we gonna face Taltais and end up peaceably? Wow, terrible ideas, guys. I know we're in a life or death situation, but terrible, terrible ideas. I was splashing with the water I found earlier, meow. No. That's not gonna work. They'll just drink the water. They'll just be like, thank you. Take the plunge. Let's win them over. We'll offer them an invitation. 
No. Bad idea, bad idea. Okay, you know what? So usually says good ideas, but I don't think... This is a good idea, but not now. Let's see. Maybe try Persuasion. It'd be a lucky day if they stop attacking. Okay, well, we gotta... What, what do you think would piss off Rio Ranger? Being happy? I think being happy, unironically, would make Rio Ranger the angriest. Select a target to use jokes on. Okay, actually, cancel jokes. Okay, wait. What would make him angry? What would make him angry? I think being happy. I mean, water isn't going to make him angry. <laughs> oh my god. New strat? Fucking kill the, kill the Shin AI off the bat. Just punch Shin. You know what? End his misery. Oh, Professor Mishima. Now it's gone. I can't even use that anymore. Water? What do you think? Um, are you questioning the one with the guide? Yes, because you lied to me! Every single stream, you lied to me. I wonder if we can pause this peacefully. I think, you know... Um... Uh, Let's loosen up with some jokes. I think we tell jokes to Rio Ranger, because he's going to be like, How dare you be happy? <laughs> That's kind of cute. What's up, you bastard? Something wrong with your brain? <laughs> Jeez, I hate this guy. The sneering AI started up. Oh my, I see. Miss Now isn't here. Did you all kill her? Yeah. Don't let him bewilder you, Kitaro. I'll get it, bud. He has a deceptive personality. You can't go against him carelessly. Here are some assistants. Ranru Trifter! Damn, sucks to suck. Huh? Hansu fell and can't move. Stop it, Ranru! You just shut up and watch, Sarah. Okay. He got a he got a deceptive personality. Fucking punch him, bro. Oh my god. If we're timid, they'll kill us. Let's be intimidating, make him scared. You're not gonna scare anyone. Oh, we, 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 we scared a Shin AI. We, we scared a Shin AI, because he's a little baby. Persuasion? No. Plunge? No. Splash him? No. Bad ideas? Yes. Bad idea? Yes. Bad idea? Guys! Guys! I mean, like... Would talking to Mishima even do anything? Mishima doesn't care, he's dead. Now is dead. What could persuading him do? Use one of my fists to fuck him up. Uh ba -ba -ba -ba. the fist work? Fists are funny, okay? The fists are very funny. I think we should beat the shit out of him, honestly. Go, 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 go. Fucking I don't know what to do with the fucking Mishima yet. Ooh, that's super punch. You mustn't. Stop that. Bye! <laughs> Serves you right. You know, guys, guys, okay, hear me out. The main reasoning that I destroyed the Mishima AI is because I don't want, I don't know how to do his voice, and I don't want to do his voice. So we're gonna get rid of Mishima's AI, so we don't have to talk with them. And he stood back up. Sorrowful AI started up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't do anything but hurt you. Mabel, be strong. You don't want to do this, right? Well, doesn't matter if she want, doesn't want to do it. She did it. Mabel! May just barely avoided the attack. Uh, Mabel doesn't like fighting, but she can't defy Midori's orders. Oh my god, if we had to fake Midori, we could have just killed him. Okay, she's sad. When she's sad, you'd be kind to her, right? Apologize. Apologize to... to apologize to <laughs> Average businessman moment. I'm, I'm sorry, Hayaka. I'm sorry. We're just apologizing to each other. There's no point to it. Really? Mai stood back up. The frightened AI started up. Everyone, please stop. I don't want to die. Oh, that's not so's voice. That's fine. Fix a Sarah. Can't we save that guy, Meow? With them running on the same battery, I don't see any way we can. Oh, he's so sad. Fucking intimidating. Wow, she does look very angry, doesn't she? Eek, that's scary. And I can't do this. 
Let me go. Somebody save me from this. Oh. <laughs> My poor boy. Oh, it worked. The frightened AI respond responded strongly, consuming energy. It went well, but I don't feel so good about it. The angry AI started up. Hey, hurry up and die already. Maple attacked Hayasaka. It's always Hayasaka, isn't it? Hey, stay away! Hayasaka is running around wildly. <laughs> Hayasaka is just a comedy routine, isn't he? Good job, Mia. Yeah? Keep running just like that. Whoop! Uh, what do I do? Who does this work on? Average businessman. Persuasion on who? On real ranger? Doesn't work. Persuasion on... Uh, let Okay, manipulate yourself. I need you to manip manipulate yourself. I can save you. I can fix you. I can fix you. I, I, I know. I don't want to use violence either. I can't possibly think of anything except for all of us or all of you to die. Did that work? The frightened AI responded strongly to energy. Let's just keep targeting the fuck out of so. Let's just keep. Let's just keep. <laughs> let's just keep. <laughs> let's just keep targeting Shin. Shin's kind of an easy target. I can kind of see why he had a zero percent win rate. Targeting an AI and myself doesn't feel good. Hayasaka came back. Welcome back, Hayasaka. The AI is watching things unfold. Apologize? Uh, I don't think we can possibly negotiate. What, what does this do? Persuasion again? What are we gonna persuade this with? He's envious, right? What if we offer an invitation to real rangers? Like, I can be human? I can survive? 50% power. Yeah, join us. Me? Inside with humans? Hey, don't give me that shit. I'll kill you, hear me? Did it work? Hey! The AI, the angry AI responds strongly with some energy. A terrible battery life, by the way. Yeah, well, that's not what I was going for, but it worked out. Storeful AI started up. Can't betray Yori. Can't betray Yori. Maple swung her arm around fiercely. Whoosh, whoosh. It'd be dangerous to get close to them, yeah? Oh, her arm is gone. Maple swinging left hand hit her right hand. Ah, uh, my hand. I can't watch this, damn it. You're not gonna have your way. Ranru held on May. Again? Owie! Get a grip! May can't move. I'll impede you in every way. Fuck you, Ranru. Fucking asshole. Big meanie, big stinky face. Uh, splash him with water. Can we just keep- can we waterboard the Shin AI? Can we waterboard the Shin AI? Loosen up with some jokes? <laughs> Big stinky meanie. I wonder if we can apologize. Apologizing to Rio would just piss him off, right? No. Does it? It pisses him off? I feel like it would piss him off. <laughs> You think I'll let you off if you apologize? I'll have no problem killing you. Hee <laughs> Oh, it didn't work. The friend AI started up. Please, Yori. Stop this already. No, no. Show me your cool side, Shin. <laughs> Yori. Yeah. Oh, water. Fucking... Let's see this one. I don't know what else to do. Oh, yeah! Stop, Jin! Ooh, big! The water went inside, consuming energy. I had no other choice, man! The angry eye started up. Y'all bastards are going straight to hell! Able to Sarah with a weapon. Why? Dodge? What the fuck do you mean? You're, ma you're, ch you're making me make a choice? Oh, fuck, what weapon is it? This? Dodge left! Left opposite where, where it's weapon going. Managed to dodge the attack. Damn! I can't control this very. 
Oh, perfect. Maple fell over and the weapon broke. So annoying. Why? Can't move right. Wanna kill. Wanna kill. Careful now. They still got a weapon. Where? Is that a rocket launcher? In the back? Is that a rock? Oh, oh, that's Reiko's dead body. <laughs> that is Reiko's dead body. That is not a rocket launcher. Now nah, I'm sad again. Intimidate. <laughs> Throwing? Fuck it. Fucking this guy? Throw it? Yeet! Bastard! Stop! Bye! I've already made up my mind! The AI is watching things on the floor. Wait, 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 hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, wait, I need it in. Wait, actually. Hinako on Shinai? Again? It doesn't work again. I've done that already. Uh, jokes? This makes her angry, right? This will make this will make her angry. Oh boy! Oh boy! I'm sorry, Hanzu. I can't laugh right now. I guess it figures. Pardon me. It's no use. I can't control it. Please run. Looking looking pretty bad. We should ready ourselves. If we don't settle here, it could be trouble. Uh, persuasion? Oh god, guys, I fucked up somewhere. I don't think I should have killed Mishma AI. Shin, you're right. I need to stop this. But, uh, Yori, Yori needs me. Woo! Everyone give yourself a pat on the back. Sorrowful AI responds strongly, consuming energy. Yeah. GG! What? Yori! Please release me! <laughs> oh, the Shin AI must die again. Whoa. So, you are useless after all. Time to scrap this piece of junk. Is that how you talk to an ally? Maybe I left you and you just. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I've woken up. <laughs> hey, Eeyore. <York. laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> do it. Shall we die together? Huh? Slice him! Let's die, Eeyore. You die by yourself. I'm good. <laughs> Feel like apologizing now? Fucking kill him! What is this goofy ass voice? <laughs> Feel like apologizing now? <laughs> For what? What's that? You trembling? Made the mistake thinking there's no way she'd resist. <laughs> She's gonna kill you. Ain't nobody gonna help. Well, Ranru actually might. <laughs> you fine with that, dummies? If I die, your controllers will. <laughs> what do you expect from us? Can't stop her anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> Slice them! Fuck them up! Don't run. You won't get away. <laughs> okay, I'll stop with the boys. I'm gonna do this. Let's follow, mister. <laughs> Please wait. Before that, Rico. She's already gone, you know. Don't be selfish. I'm going. Oh. Can we pull her body down? Can we like hold onto her legs and it'll swing off of them a bit? Reiko, who is so kind and so strong. Reiko, protect us when we were weak. Do you think if um, I wonder if Alice survives. If Al, if you choose to survive with Alice, I wonder if um, I wonder if he dies instead. I don't think the siblings were meant to make it to the end. Fallen victim to someone I trust as an ally. There's no way I can process that thus that so simply. I sowed the seeds for this. At that moment I had the thought that I wanted to win. Do I wanna know? Mm, I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking. Uh, because I don't know whether I'm gonna go back and play with Alice or not. 
but I don't know if it makes any much of a difference. Probably not. Don't don't let me know. It's fine. It's me who drove Renru to this. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Rayco. <laughs> Jin, I have no right to embrace him. Sorry, Jin. Wait, Sarah. Guitar. This little gorilla. I don't know what Midora told you. But we believe in you, Sarah. Even if they might be different sizes, we're all carrying different sins. That's not true. Mine are so much more important than yours. You might be right. Yes, you might be right. Uh, saying things like, I believe in you might have put a burden on you. It's true. But nobody's going to blame you. We'd have no right to hate you even if you gave up on us. Don't be absurd, we... We... we are allies, so... That, that's right. No chance we live long if we split off from one another. So, don't go leaving us. D don't, don't keep your heart at a distance. Pixis, Sarah! Okay, I pulled Jin toward me tightly. Don't cry, Jin. I'm the one who killed Reiko because I thought it'd be funny. I thought it'd be funny if me and Ranru escaped because Ranru is so fucking annoying. I thought it'd be funny, Jin. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'll overcome this. I won't become who Midori says I am. I swear it. On Reiko's death. Big sis Sarah. Let's go, man. Oh, he's crying. What a, what a baby. What a big baby. You're 12 years old and you're still crying? Embarrassing, Jim. Right. Let's go after the others. <laughs> I don't mean that, guys. It's fine to cry. It's fine to cry at any age. Okay. Stop fooling Jim. He's just a baby. He already accepted it already. Yeah. <laughs> When we arrived at the cemetery, Mitora was completely cornered by Maple. Kill him! Stop this, Maple! Get my. I. I love you, Maple. Mm. He's lying. That's a lie, Maple. I know. He alright, he's lying. No, I'm, I'm not. I, I really love you, Maple. <laughs> I promise, I'm not jo I'm not joking. <laughs> I, I totally mean it. Don't be fooled. I won't believe you, Iori. Together. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, she ran out of battery. Sorry, bud. Hey, you got a stun gun on your finger. <laughs> no, my bodies. Oh, fuck, it's over, isn't it? She's bloated. <laughs> she sure got close, but too bad. Ugh. I wouldn't say that. Hmm? Just a second ago, you were scared. Of Mabel's attack, she was ready to die for. You showed weakness. Your fear dead. That's right. I was always thinking that Midor might be indifferent even to his own death. But I was wrong. Even Midori doesn't want to die. You talk about nonsense. What does knowing that do for you? If you want to see a weakness take advantage of, just go ahead and try. After all, the only means left to you now is the banquet. The banquet? Feels like we're on our last resort now. Where's Mr. Policeman? There's no time to look around. Oh, he's gotta be okay now. I trust him, Wolf. Right, that's our last chance. Until we're ready, we should talk talk with everyone. Blast him! Keiji's in the burning coffin? <laughs> Unlucky. I'm sure you want to know the real lies. I'm sure you know, but the real event lies ahead of us. So. Was everything else practice? It'll be a tough fight. Yep. But I think it's true. Midori was afraid. 
The air can change a person. He must have a weakness to exploit, Miss Sarah. <laughs> Still, I have to say, Ranaru, he did something pretty outrageous. Even I didn't expect he'd kill Miss Reiko. Who needs a doll that brings harm to humans? <laughs> Aren't you sad so? Sad? I can't even make that kind of feeling anymore. To me, there's no big difference between Midori and you all. Only the order. <laughs> so. Looking at so makes me uneasy. Yeah, because he's kind of fucking unhinged, isn't he? About whether my vote was incorrect. It was. I promise you. It was a good vote. Fuck you. The silent treatment, huh? I ain't giving up. I'll aim to win with even if I get the tiniest opportunity. It's no good. I don't want to talk to Ranmar as he is now. Yeah, he's kind of, in, kind of in super sane prick mode, you know. No matter how hard I try, I just remember the fact he killed Reiko. Not that I have any right to criticize him. Hey, is it okay to leave Ranmar free? He can't escape. He can't escape. Ranmar doesn't have a choice but to participate in the banquet either. If it's a banquet where you can destroy him, I'll gladly take part in that. I'm joking. But well, after the banquet's over, suppose you can just not bring him back. I mean, what's that look? You're gonna forgive him, Sarah Senpai, for killing Reiko? I'm not one to judge. Enough. No point taking it out on you, Sarah Senpai. Mr. Policeman may be a lady killer, but I'm uneasy without him here, meow. If he's a lady killer, then how m He has not seduced a single person in this room, okay? Literally, everyone has thought fucking Mr. Policeman was creepy as hell. No one has- no one has romantically fallen for Keiji in this- in this room. Yeah. And also, Mr. Gorilla and Muscle Punk are both injured, meow. They've got muscles. They've got muscles, so they should be fine. Me? Well, this is an amazing wolf! Jin's gonna become super jacked. How about you, Jin? Feeling okay? I'm totally fine, wolf! Good. You've gotten hearty, Jin. Makes it sir. Depend on me any time, wolf! Can I talk to people I've talked to before? About Midori. About Midori. Well, kill. What else is there? Always saying you'll beat him and won't lose. No use doing that. Unless you show real bloodlust, you won't be afraid. Was everything up to now practice? That's a weird expression, but he wanted us to entertain him. And above all, he wanted to enjoy it himself. He's a big ball of desires. We have nothing to time with, and I'm sure he'd resist. I want to give him a big kick to satisfy myself. Can't do anything now. Us or Ranmaru. Letting him get away scot-free ticks me off. Worrying, huh? Hope things don't worsen for them. Don't be scary, man! Everyone will be okay, don't worry. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on them, yeah? Yo, Sarah. What happened to winning? I'll gun for it, I got an opportunity. It ain't like I can take on this many people. It's no good. I don't want to talk, I don't want to talk to Ranru. I want to talk to Ranru, okay? There's free dialogue in here. I can't miss out on free dialogue. Way to stay calm after all that. As if my plan failed, I'm pissed off. Never thought it'd go like this. Is your body okay? As if that's what matters now. Shit. He betrayed us. He broke our promise. Oh, we're the ones who were betrayed. It's not like he injured the dummy. If that ain't the issue, it pisses me off. Reiko should have been here too. I want to take pride in seeing that promise through. Shit! 
depending on what the banquet is. Maybe I'll get it off from Amaru. I don't know what Ran- I don't know what Kuramata's voice sounds like, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty inconsistent, but that's okay. I'll never know. I never would have imagined. Shit. That wiggling Ranru of all people. Are you mad? Yeah? Yeah, of course- That's- That's a dumbass question. Rhetorical. I'll never forgive him. Same here. I'm boiling over with anger. We finally made it this far, Sarah. Are you prepared? Are you prepared, May? Of course. I'm always ready. Hey, Sarah. Do you like everybody? How do you mean? Is she jealous of me? She's like, I don't think Yutaro's the kind of guy to go for a 17-year-old girl like Keiji. I think you're safe. How do you mean? Not us, I mean human survivors. I don't think you even need me to answer that. I guess so. I like you guys too. I was waiting for us at the banquet. I'll be on your side. Me? Wait, let's go back. Wait, let, let, let's ask that question again. Let, let's see. Oh, it won't tell us. Do you want to tell us the truth? Damn it, okay. Okay, the ship dies down a bit. You're enthusiastic. You're enthusiastic, May. Yeah, obviously. Look at this. Your personality's changed, May. Um, eh. Uh, Yeek. This bank of things scary, but I'll do my best. I didn't say you should revert back. <laughs> oh. Did she change? She seems pretty similar to me. It's, it's still too much for me to bear. Saka. What is Miss Reiko, of course. When you've been aiming us this whole time. Look at the state Kuramada's in. If Ranru tries something before the banquet, I'll stop him. I'll throw myself in the way if I must. <sighs> well, supposing I can. Oh, that's not you. Same here. I expect as much. I could see a truly dazzling bomb between you survivors. And yet, I think Ranru did that to Miss Reiko. Wow. I still can't believe that Reiko is dead. Can you guys believe Reiko is dead? That felt a bit anticlimactic, didn't it? Did it feel anticlimactic to anyone how Reiko died? Did it? Because I can't even believe she died. Cause I'm like, yeah, I don't know. There wasn't really emotional punch to it because I didn't even get to see her final words. I didn't even really get to see her, like, struggling to death or anything. She's just dead when I walked in. Yeah, with all the stuff between Alice and Reiko, she just dies like that? Really? Just instantly? I don't know. It, it wasn't that good of a death scene, I think. It was just, it, it's kind of like shock value, but, like, it's... The thing about shock value is that it doesn't last very long. You wanted to see Reiko struggling? Kind of. Kind of. But, like, not in that way, you know? Like, I wanted to see, like... I wanted, okay, besides, like, I wanted a reason to care more that she died, I guess. Like, I wanted them to make it, like, more, like, heart-wrenching. Like, maybe I came into the room at the last second, and then, like, I saw her there, and then she was, like, begging for her life or something, you know? You know? Because everyone who's died has begged to, like, not die. Like, when we came here, we just saw her, her dead. Like, I feel like if we saw her in her final moment, and she was, like, reaching out for help, then that would have been, like, more impactful. But, like, we just, she's just dead. I don't know. I can't really feel much about it. I did like. I thought Reiko was an okay character. Not my favorite, but I did like her. I didn't want her to die. Oh, I clicked that. You mean Ranmaru? <laughs> yes. You always compromised with us. Why just. Why take Miss Reiko's life? Oh, man. Can we not get along anymore? Anzu. Ranmaru, huh? Yeah, I didn't think he was like that. No, if he hadn't met me, he wouldn't have become... What the heck? Th that's not right. If somebody influenced an eternal evil, that's on him. Have you never experienced something like that, Anzu? Well, sure, I became a clown because someone else influenced me, but... But I never think about hurting anybody. I don't know if I believe that. You guys look like you're ready to kill us. Maybe Anzu's showing concern in her own way. Tell me something funny. Make me smile. Make me laugh. What is it? 
I'm talking about Ramaru. He's scary, right? Okay. Make me laugh. Let's be friends. Don't say that. Let's all be friends. But that Ramaru is so scary. I thought he was just kind of this weak boy. Yeah, Super Saiyan prick mode, huh? Kiwa! <laughs> Kiwa Daisuke! <laughs> <laughs> does, that not, does that not look like Kilo to you guys? Andrew's win percentage tells me she's hurt a lot of people. Let's see if that's true. Wow. I think so. Where the where the hell is what's it called? Where where is where is this where is this little prick? 5.3%. Do you think you fell in love with me in all the simulations? Do you? Okay, we talked to everybody. It's time. Guys, whose turn is it to die? It's our time to die. Let's go, everyone. You almost ready, Sarah? Kitara. I don't fucking care anymore. <laughs> Just go. Just go. He's okay. He's still alive. I, I still need to talk to everyone. Yeah, that's a good idea. Now's the time to brace yourself. Uh, Kitara, um... Is there something you haven't told me? Yeah. I want to know about what happened when we were acting separately. It's all just like I told you. <laughs> With that face? No, it's not. If you won't tell me, then I won't ask. I'm sure I can believe Kutara. When you're ready, Sarah, give me a holler. We'll start preparing for the banquet. Well, I talked to everyone, except you. So. Yes, let's begin. Is this the end? Is this is this the end? Is, is the banquet a part of... Is, is the banquet part of, like, the next, the final part? Or is the banquet still part of this thing? I don't know. I think we're getting... I think we're close to getting caught up, though. I'm sure everybody knows, but... Now, we're gonna have to choose who goes into the seven coffins. Hmm. There is still chapter 3-1. This is, isn't it? This is. We're on a... 3B at the moment. Doesn't matter if they're alive or dead. Someone's gotta go in. Human or doll. Does that coffin count? Wait, does, does, does this count as um as the coffin being filled? Because it's kind of messed up. No, I think we're on 3B at the moment. Yeah, I think we're on 3B. Yeah. <laughs> well, Want to do rock, paper, scissors, perhaps? All the dummies go in. I'll do right. <laughs> what? Don't decide that on your own. Well, why not? If we're just getting in. Yo, get your ass in there too, Ramaru. Hmm? You try to resist, I'll stuff you in that coffin, even if I gotta smash you apart. That's the last stand we dummies are gonna take. We are on 3 A. Uh huh? Huh? Okay, no, or whatever. <laughs> Don't get so heated. I'll get in. Guess I'll get in before I change my mind. It's decided. Wait, I thought we're not supposed to let each other see who's in the coffin, right? <laughs> no choice, huh? No, we finished A. <laughs> All right. Anti four summons the coffin. Right. Kermada got in the coffin. Thank you, everyone. Wow, there's literally just four humans left, isn't there? Oh, this left is that one, yeah? The last coffin. I'll inspect it. It's the coffin Keiji was in. I'll open it. No, get it. It won't open. We to think of a way to pry it open, yeah? Yeah. I you know. The banquet isn't starting, so... Isn't this coffin empty? <laughs> Mr. Policeman really did escape, yeah? But thanks to that, now we need to discuss if she should go in the sub. Uh, whoa, the coffins. They completely buried themselves. No way. The gate. Hurry to the gate. Can I walk? Do we really have to hurry? Holy shit, this game counts time like crazy. It says I have been playing for 21 hours. This is a, in addition to the to like the 20 the 24 hours before I made a new save, right? This game thinks I have played for 42 hours. That is not remotely correct. Naples burnt out body. What 
Okay, go. Get it. Get it. The gate is open. Dad? Dad? Is that my dad? Yo! I've been withering away waiting. What? Where is it? Where's everyone in the coffins? Oh, come on. Not even a hello? They're fine. Just fine. You'll meet them soon. Oops. Pardon me. I'm Meister. We'll be overseeing proceedings for the banquet. Now, I'm gonna have you select Challenger. What are you gonna make us do, man? Meister? Oh! Interesting. Whoa, now. I can't tell you that. The game is Russia Roulette. It's a test of luck between the challengers. Allow me to introduce the other challenger. Midori! You're acquainted with the theatrics. <laughs> now, which coffin will you pick first? first? These. The challengers were going to the coffins. More coffins. Why? They're just the same kind of cemetery. No traps here. And the brand new and unused Lucky You. If you're scared, why don't we pick first? Wait, wait! At any rate, let's look them over and make sure there's nothing suspicious. Oh, what are they making me do? The left coffin. Go ahead, check till you're satisfied. I'll probably give him Joe's voice. Oh my god. Do I have to kill people? I don't even get to know. Alright, the left coffin. Alright, well let us check him a little more. Tara respects the coffin's finger carefully. No need to pull your stick and hands all over them. There's no difference between the two coffins. Seems that way. Nothing suspect. We'll go with this one Sarah picked. Okie dokie. Then I'll go with the one you didn't pick. This choice decides the game. The door got in the right coffin. Who was this really the right one? Now for you to decide on the challenger. Feel free to take your time thinking it over. So not so long. The dummies so not so long. The dummies run out of battery course. Well that to do. Captain the challenger will be in danger as ever. We don't know the rules. Let me fight! Let me fight! No, Jin, you're the worst person we could send up. I'll do it, yeah. I'll do it. No, I'll do it. I wouldn't recommend that. If you're chiming in. I'm offering you a hint, seeing as you have the disadvantage. I'm always the one being protected, Wolf. You're all nice, so you never pick me at times like this, man. But it didn't matter only I survived. I'm sure I'd regret it, Wolf. I feel like I was a burden. Someone you let me do it, Wolf. I want to know there are people who I saved by being there. That's, you already have. Because I love all you guys. Oh, look at these, he scampered away so fast. <laughs> now, let's move on. It's about time to start. <laughs> yeah, the coffin is the only person who could survive. The Invincible Dummies. Wow, this is quite a beautiful place. I don't see any coffins anywhere. Now, it's about time. I'm preparing myself. I'm not gonna sacrifice anyone. Oh my god, what is going on? Steam! Okay, perfect. Well then, let's begin, shall we? Come forth. Wang. The dumb? An amazing machine, isn't it? Coffins, is everyone in there? Did you see the Aster egg in Aster's hand? I have a hand? Huh? Whoa, don't bother trying to open them, alright? Because I've locked the coffins just now. At any rate, I should get closer and expect them. Uh, the platform for the fucked up coffin is so funny. The weird egg thing in the microphone. Uh -huh. Incredibly, 
Get this machine, you guys gotta locate the door. Oh, perfect. I love reloading my save and guessing. Okay, Midori? Yep. In front of these nine coffins? Yep, in one of these nine coffins. Whoever hits their target first wins. That is the Rusty Roulette b Banquet. That means, naturally, the challenger dies for hit. If so, Shin's life is on the line? Blast him. Hey, hey, let us out of here. Are you inside? Big Sarah! Shin. They're completely soundproof in there, but as you can see, you can talk via monitors. Eh, I can't see anything from him. Eh? If only I'd known, I should have gone into no Shin to have. Okay, because my brain is very important. And currently, I'm piloting you. Okay. Don't be thinking anything foolish, Miss Sarah. They're the only ones who could properly observe things from outside, got it? That's right, what's important is winning and surviving. True and real! I'll win and save Jin. Ah, and by the way, it's a team battle too, so Midori needs a button pusher too. Meaning, I'll push the buttons in the stage. Wait, that's not fair. He's jacked. You ain't gonna cheat. My cheating is Midori's cheating. We'll share responsibility. You better not cheat yourselves. Rule breakers get death. As if we even could. Uh, we could, we could kind of figure out a cheat. Is it cheating that they put me, a super genius, on the on the bystanders? You know. Well then, once we decide the turn order, we can get started. I'd say it's fine for Team Jin to go first, having a disadvantage. All right. Went on a little long, huh? Let's start already. Rush from Lead. Banquet Edition. Begin. Me when I can't come up with new mini games. Me when I can't come. Up oh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't. I don't mean to give the developers a hard time. This is good. I like it. Watch the chapter end right now. I, I, I can see it. I, I think after this, it's just the main game, right? This is long. This, um, this part, part 1B is like four times longer than part 1A, it feels like. An extremely heavy air dominates the space. From what we heard, the rules are simple. Nine coffins. If Jin is picked, we lose. If Midori is hit, we win. But... Of course, I can't imagine it being that simple. Above all, it's strange that Midori who should be in a coffin isn't saying anything. But it doesn't change what we have to do. We'll discuss it and find an answer together. Can I just guess? Do I? Do you guys actually want me to do this properly, or can I just reload the save nine different times? <laughs> just keep blasting. It's like, ah, oh, shit. Kiara's, Kiara's dead. Well, better luck next time. By the way, you can rotate the coffin during your discussions if you want. Make good use of it. <laughs> Guys. In true Russian roulette fashion, I think we leave it up to God. <laughs> Midori, come out and speak. Come out and speak, see what happens. First, let's inspect the machine closely. It might do more than just rotate. You think they're in two? Oh, I'll definitely go over two, just for you. Well, naturally. Let's get to inspecting. Alright then. I'll touch around and see if there's anything else we can control. Is there? This part of the platform. It shows the number of each coffin. So... What are these round lamps below the numbers? Hey, whoa, don't go casually pressing that. Will you tell me about it? Of course, see, these lamps are a hint function. Hint. Yep. This is a game where you and Midori take turns selecting coffins, but before each selection, you can get one hint. Generous, wow. Can my opponent use it too? Wait, wait, wait. He also gets to shoot, right? If he shoots Jin, do I lose? Is that how it works? Can Midori use that too? Yes, ma'am, and I'm sure he will. And what exactly are these hints? Too bad. Explanation ends here. Just see what happens and think about it. What? You're good at puzzles, ain't you? No. No, I am terrible at puzzles. You do not want to watch the first part of this playthrough, okay? You do not want to watch what chapter one looked like for me. 
can only use it once. I can't choose aimlessly. I want to narrow things down to an extent first. I think we need to discuss after all. Well, there's not much option, is there? We ought to think how we can differentiate the coffins. All right, let's observe. So he says, but... There's hardly any differences in appearances. The only one we can identify is Andrew's coffin. We should have vandalized the coffins, guys. That means there's only a 1 in 8 chance that we hit Midori. And the same odds that we hit Jen. <laughs> That's a problem, look! I can't die like this, man! Right, but what difference in appearance is there? Can you think of anything, Miss Sarah? A way to see what the eye can't see. Let me think about it. Lantern! Lantern! Use lantern! Look at me go! Don't extract. Lantern. Use. It's active. Okay, rotate. Wow, look at me go! Interesting. The lantern, huh? The light in this lantern can reveal things you can't normally see. But isn't it out of battery? We'll use the one I just picked up. See the lantern from guitar. Thinking it's the same as yours, Sarah. Thank you very much. Now, let's try this. Ooh. I see. Hmm, interesting how the number seven doesn't have the doll in it, does it? Isn't that? The, the coffins are glowing. Yeah? What? What's going on outside? I'm not sure of the details either, but... There's something special to these coffins. We might be able to tell them apart. Mystery of the glowing coffins. The coffins must be made with a special material that glows in the lantern's light. Hey, hey! What's it look like? How many glowing coffins are there? Tell me! When we saw the coffins glowing like this, we were off on our own too. Okay, so one of these coffins aren't here naturally, because remember when I was looking at all the coffins, all of them are glowing. Fucking blasted. No more thinking. No think. Just blast. It's this one, guys. Oh, you're gonna really make me act talk? It's so obvious. Never would have guessed the same lantern would be on floor 5, too. When we use it on the cemetery, all seven coffins start glowing. All seven coffins? This is an important statement, because there's nine coffins, right? Okay, so we can lower it down to like two two out of eight. It's a two out of eight chance. So that we got a one in four chance of whether it's gin or not. No, wait, how does this work? We have eight coffins. Okay, wait, we have eight coffins. Two of them are not originally from okay, two of them are not originally from the the what's it called? Two, okay, two of them are not originally from the cemetery. So that means it's is it a 2 and 8? Is that how it works? Is it 2 and 8? No. It's a 1 and 2 chance. Why am I thinking it's so high? No, it's a 1 and 2 chance. Hey, hey, what's it look like outside? How many gold coffins are there? Tell me. Well, do you know? 7. Hmm, 7, I see. The same number that we're in the cemetery. No, uh, no, actually, it might not be 7. What? Really? Then how many are there? Oh, you actually want me to check? Uh oh. Wait. One, two, three. Okay, one. Okay, wait. One, two, three. Four. Five? Five of them? Five of them are glowing, right? Okay, there's five of them. Five. Really, huh? I see. So? It says that five glowing coffins? I'm like, what? This has to be a lead. Let me think about it. Hmm. <laughs> One half. Jesus Christ, Asker. Hey, don't talk to me like that. Just, that for example, I believe some ores like ruby and diamond glow in ultraviolet light. Maybe those coffins are made out of diamond too. Holy shit, Asanaro is rich. Um, all seven coffins. Okay, well, first of all, there's a problem here. 
Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Oh, seven glowed? Yeah. Then why are only five glowing now? By the way, there exists no other coffins than these. So, the seven glowing coffins were reduced to five glowing coffins because... So, I the coffins lost their glow. All right. Why don't we think about why that is? The robots. Wait, hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out, hear me out. Okay, ready? Guys, guys, hear me out. Okay. So, the coffins were glowing when no one alive was in the coffins, right? So, maybe the coffins, they stopped glowing because there's alive people in there. So, usually the coffins glow if there's dead people. But if there's people who are alive inside the coffins, then it doesn't. No? Wrong. Well, we can at least say that Angie's two coffins isn't glowing. I've lost my glow? Wait, I get the Nova coffin they're in? <sighs> Don't go adding pointless statements. <laughs> I'll check that. Maybe it'll explode on the top of Angie's coffins. Is that why? But there should be another coffin that's lost to glow too, right? Mm. Is there any other possible cause? Even little things matter here. Do any of you remember anything unusual that happened to your coffins? All I can think about is how their peculiar smell bothers me. Ranaru, I'm asking you too. That's right. You know, I go splash liquid at me and got my coffin all sticky, I recall. Maybe the coffins actually use glow using electricity. Bad they ran out of battery. It's gotta be the explosion fault, yeah? The heat of the blast, say. Liquid? Curious smell. Can I extract them? I feel like saying this in the coffin for too long will give me a suit of stench, huh? <laughs> oh, I extract them already? Oh, there you go. I told her it's hot. Carry it yourself. Then she crumpled it up and splashed it all over my coffin. I had no choice but to wipe it off myself. What of it? That ain't relevant, is it? I can't overlook the statement. The dummies ran on battery, don't they? Maybe the coffins do too. Key of the blast? A curious smell. Maybe this? Let me save. I think this is this. Hot cocoa doesn't smell bad, does it? Uh, he looks at me like a dumbass. Shoot, that was a mistake. Item? Game start. Blue, one, red, six, yellow, zero. Do I have any colors in here? Implements, ID card, lantern. Can I lantern this? Ooh, the spooky lantern. Ugh. Okay, let's see. Okay, not the lantern. One of their statements, heat of the blast. Taco got spill on coffin or something like that. Uh, how many were there? Okay, so one coffin lost because of the heat, and then this? It must be because of the heat thing. Wait, wait, cause, okay, guys, remember how I said that the coffins were glowing because there's something alive in there? I think, like, body temperature, right? Because if an alive person has a body temperature, but a doll doesn't. Eh? <laughs> Hold on a sec. I want to hear about what you said. Hmm? You said the cocoa didn't matter. Both the explosion and hot cocoa shared a fact of being super hot. What the? So what? It's not wrong that a blast in hot cocoa would be a high temperature. That's right, if he had an effect. We can draw the conclusion that something melted. Paint? Is that right? I feel like we're off a bit. Maybe there's something like the paint on the surface on the coffins to make lanterns glow. Come to think of it, that would connect to that somehow. The consent form in the classroom? The consent form in the classroom. That black paint. It glowed similarly when I used the lantern. And a spray of steam got rid of it. Whoa, so we're just using the same paint. It's not unlikely. That paint comes off at high temperatures. 
That could certainly explain Ranry's coffin losing its glow. And it also leads us to the possibility that a certain other coffin lost its glow. Another coffin that stopped glowing. Keiji's? The coffin that Keiji was in. That coffin used the cremation system meant to grill Keiji alive. Precisely. And it was so hot that just touching the lake would burn you. So Mr. Policeman lost his glow too, man. I bet the melted coffin got stuck under the lid. Which is why the stuck got... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I read that. So, I read that so wrong. I bet the melted pen got stuck under the lid, which is why I got stuck and went open. Yeah. Well, that's strange, isn't it? That would mean between Anzu, Ranru, and Keiji, three coffins stopped glowing. <laughs> ah, the numbers don't match. Uh, um, well, and also, don't you wonder who painted them and when? Good point. I want to clear that up. Understood. Let's discuss it. Hey, give me back my points. Who point, Who painted the coffins when? First up, when I split up from Sarah, all seven coffins in the cemetery were glowing. Meaning, someone painted them before we split. I imagine it has to be Midori. Surely the cop culprit wouldn't be one of us. When I get on their hands or something when they applied it, just paint stuff. I sure don't remember seeing any suspicious activity in the cemetery. Hmm, could there not be a coffin view? Hey, do you think there's a difference between Shannon and Dory's coffins and the rest? I got it! The culprit is Maple! Hold up. We're sure the old timer Kutaro isn't telling the truth. Now there must be some meaning behind being painted in the first place. Saved. Oh my god. Oh my god. There are so many people talking. Guys, one person at once, please. One person at once. Don't make you do all your voices. I mean, so long as they're hit by lanterns, your color isn't any different. See? We can go down to Fort floor. She was there standing on the paint. But wasn't the shutter closed and no one came to the cemetery? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Yo! Maybe they just stopped differently the curtain. Maybe they just start differently from the coffin in the cemetery, for instance. If this gets us making a misjudgment, we'll be in some real shit. Only Midori would get these weird ideas. What kind of intention did he have? Can't even be bothered to consider it. Notice Keiji and, <laughs> and Reiko aren't talking. One of them should be in the coffin, almost like they're tricking Midori. Hmm, curious how Reiko isn't talking because she's dead. <laughs> if you want to check to confirm, just check if anyone has paint on the clothes. Not that you can see the ones inside coffins. Gah, he's just taunting me. Ranmer, you think being a bad boy is going to make, make you more attractive? Kind of. But no. Okay. The copper doesn't exist. In other words, a ghost, man. The ghost of the person in the coffin played a trick, Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, wait, wait, actually, wait, 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 I was gonna mock him. I was gonna make fun of the little dude, but actually... Jim, it's not realistic to bring ghosts into this. I know, man. I was just talking, Wolf. Jin, this is not the time. We can literally blast, put a bullet in your head right now, okay? I mean, it's a brand new coffin, so of course it wouldn't be a ghost, man. Brand new. Huh? Fix it, Sarah. You remember, Wolf? Seaweed said, Ah, I can't wait. It's my first time using this fancy new coffin, yeah? Come to think of it. Wait, what am I thinking about? <laughs> what am I thinking about? Tell, someone tell me what I'm thinking about. Since nobody saw something suspicious like that, it must have been much, much earlier. At the very start, before the death game began. Before it began? So basically, he reapplied their color to prepare for the death game. Midori must have had some old coffins lying around that he repainted. He reused them. Mm. Sleeping there with your man. It's almost filling around with a brush, of course. I would have thought, what are they doing, you know? Okay. Okay, I, I think they make it, I think they made it pretty obvious, right? Like, 
they I think they made it pretty obvious because I feel I don't remember these orange texts being everywhere. Do you guys remember in the past there would be orange text and that would be the one you'd have to do? I swear I went through the trenches to figure out the real truth most of the time. Okay, anyways, it's this versus this. Jin, you, you you sure about that? Of course, man. Yeah. Then, it makes sense why nobody looks suspicious. A new coffin wouldn't be painted to start with. So it's cut in black paint when it was made. Like the chocolate and chocolate covered almonds. I don't want, I, okay, you know what? New rule, we are not talking to Anzu. I don't care if she said something important. She is dumb as bricks. Then, the coffin's outside the cemetery too. According to Maester, Jin and Midori's coffins are both new, right? They both don't glow. Ah. They both glow, actually, wait. Both their coffins glow. Exactly, man. That would make the coffin sad up. Rather than two out of seven coffins losing their glow, it's four out of nine. It would mean Anzu's, Ranmaru, Keiji's, and other ones stop glowing. There's just one we can't identify. But I suspect the last one would be among the cemetery coffins. It would be odd if it wasn't. <laughs> now I remember. Now we're narrowing things down. After all, this means Midori is in one of the glowing coffins. Oh, then if we pick a glowing coffin... Wait up! If the same goes for Jin too. Oh yeah! Now that's no good. Unless we got a way to distinguish Jin and Midori. It's still a game of chance. Yeah, I love gambling. We're shooting. No more talkie. No more talking. We are gonna just blast. And it's gonna be funny. One in five. One in five odds that we hit Midori? If we just miss, that's one thing. But if we hit Jin, he dies. Wait, do only the challengers die? Wait, wait, do only the challengers die? I don't I don't remember. Like, if, if we choose any coffin, does the person in there die or only Jin and Midori can die? Zara, don't you think it's about time we try that hint function? We have narrowed it down to five. It's possible we can narrow it down further using the hint. That's true. I'll explain how to use it. Put the coffin you want to use a hint on right in front, then touch the platform. Okay, got it. I'll choose one of the glowing coffins to use a hint on. Interesting. But how- I only get one hint, right? I only get a single dingle hint. Oh shit, my bad. I need- to, okay, what's glowing first of all? What's our lucky number, guys? No, no, not that. Lucky number? Mm, I'm thinking three. Actually, I think one would be the most obviously suspicious, but like, we're doing one. I just like number one, you know? Okay, number one it is. I pressed a lamp. It lit up red? Oh, wait, is that it? What's that tell us? Muscle Gorilla, calm down, yeah? We can think about that together, woof. I guess you're right. Listen, we can't use another hint. If we don't hit Midori, I'll come around to his turn. Oh god, yeah, he gets a turn, doesn't he? Does he hear what we're saying? Does he hear all the stuff we're brainstorming at the moment? We have to pretend that. Shin's life is on the line. It's okay. Even the single lamp gives information, for instance. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, what, what could it be among these ones? What the hell? You've given me more cryptic stuff. Stop giving me cryptic stuff. Just tell me the answer, please. Okay, the lamp's shape, the lamp's color, the lamp's glow, the lamp's temperature. The lamp's color? The lamp's color. Color, huh? Think back to when we were searching on this floor. We saw numerous devices with a relation to color. That's true. We will have to discuss what the can tell me this color, man. Yeah? Right. If we all join forces, I'm sure we could solve this mystery. Let's uncover the secret of the color. You know, this the 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 game, like the actual discussion part now, is very well organized, isn't it? You forget what you're doing and they just tell you. 
it's nice. I, I, I appreciate the organization. The lamp says what's inside. Red means <laughs> I, don't, I can't even read that seriously. Red means red blood. And that means there's a human in there. Color. Where are those three buttons on Mabel's back? Red, blue, and yellow. You know, I still never recall seeing a message matching those colors. Red, blue, and yellow. Huh. Could it be gender or something? Lots of bathrooms in Japan use red for girls. Look for boys, yeah. I don't know if it's relevant, but there's a color code for my fingerprints code. I kind of feel like it's going to be hard to theorize if there's a color to love, Wolf. Yeah, we don't really get a choice, do we? Um, what was it again? Can I show them this? No. Wow, so fast. Is this what you saw so? Ah, that is. We found this note while exploring. Which matches something that we displayed on the coffin control system. Ah, I see. I remember now. The coffins were all laid out there. Red doll, yellow vacant, blue human. Oh my god. Can we get an amen for them showing this to me? Because I would have never remembered this. Okay, so red is a doll. Is Midori considered a doll? He is, right? Blue human, red doll, yellow vacant. Ooh. And set them on the coffin control screen. The colors must be information about the contents of the coffin, surely. So, the red color of this lamp. Red doll. That means one of the dummies in there. This is a huge hint. Because everyone but Jin will be red. If we pick a red coffin, we can avoid hitting Jin. Ugh. Is that really it? Sarah, remember the coffin control screen again. Specifically, that message in the top right. There's only one human. And there's seven, six dolls. Data log. Blue one, red six, yellow zero. Ain't this a record from the cough? Ain't this a record from when the cough means that's a kind of blah, 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 blah. Oh my god. Ain't this a record from when the contents of the cough means are checked? Hey, we didn't do anything like that, man. Maybe it records automatically. Yeah, but if it records automatically, this is old ass information. Before the game. Before the banquet. The start of the game? Are you telling me someone's human? During the game. Uh... They're gonna tell me the right answer. I'm just gonna... It must be from when the game started. I'm guessing that note was a printout of slot. And since it says game start, blue one, red six, yellow zero. That was at the very beginning for Midori and the dolls and dummies came out. Who is real? Well, well wait! That only those seven! Had one human mixed in here? A human among the dummies. This what? So, who is the sneaky bastard? Hard to believe it. Okay, it's not Randall, right? His hand literally detached. His hand literally detached. No, he literally, his hand literally like go-go gadgeted. Look, let's calm down for a second. You think we can calm down about this? Oh, because that, that means that the pressure's been lying pretending to be one of the dummies. Huh? Why would they even do that for? What should I do? I don't know what this fact means, but I won't be able to fully trust the dummy at this rate. In that case, understood. Let's first make it clear who the human is. Who is the human? Is it Hiyori? Hiyori's... No, Midori's dead, right? The dummies ain't Midori. The group of seven's got one human in the mix. I got no damn clue. Is it Ranru or what? No, it's not Ranmaru, it's not fucking Kuramata, right? Oh my god, guys. Kuramata is like a superhuman. He literally has no insights and he's functioning completely fine. I replaced my whole hand, remember? Still trying to calm a human? Hilarious. Being able to take your hand off doesn't mean necessarily mean you're a doll. 
Dude, does it? Did we look inside? Like when he okay, when he took off his hand, did we take a look inside? That's true. Okay, yeah, Kuramata's 100 though. But getting a whole that big in your stomach, Kuramata's gotta be a doll, huh? Hey, hey, hey! Do you think there's, there's cases where someone doesn't even realize they're human? We all saw our deaths in the victim videos. It's hard to imagine a human being mixed in. I'm that guy from 999. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Save game. Okay, here's the thing. I'm thinking, because after this, okay, 100% after this, the game is, like, we're caught up, right? We're 100% we're caught up with the game after this. No, I should still end the episode at three hour marks. Okay, we'll play a bit longer, though. The coffin control system got a color code. Blue, human, red, dull, yellow, vacant. And blue one, red six, yellow six. That was in the coffin of the game star. It's clear as day, there's a human in the mix. Yeah, I agree. I even sprayed steam. Hell, is anything about me human? Is that all? Is that all, Ramaru? Right, and the finger upgrade you found me. Well, this time got upgrade part. I see, so you used that on me. I didn't intend to harm you, believe me. Ravi, how long do you think you're until we're finished? Yeah, because there's the thing. Because I also, I don't want to do like a small stream. Like, I was going to stream tomorrow, right? And I was just going to... I mean, here's the thing. We can, I think tomorrow we're finished, right? I think tomorrow, it, we're, we're, tomorrow we're 100% finished and we can do bonus episodes. And then Wednesday, maybe? Wednesday is when we start the new game. Being able to talk, take your hand off doesn't necessarily mean you're a doll. Your Dory's hand came off too. But that could have been a prop to make it look like he was a doll. A prop, huh? So are you thinking that Midori is the human Kanako? I, I can't say that for sure yet. But just remember this. Midori is with the organization. He can freely use everything in his facility. There's no such things as impossible. She's spinning, though. I got no damn clue. I mean, he's a traitor, right? I don't want to be one of the dummies, damn it. Wow, they got some dummy solidarity. <laughs> they got some dummy solidarity going on. When did that happen? It's possible they wouldn't just be aware, right? I'm no exception. Maybe I could be a human. Guys, can you just bite yourself? Uh, actually, you know what? They wouldn't tell the truth, would they? I'm gonna be like, just bite yourself. If you if if you bite yourself and there's no blood, then you're not a human. But I was like, they're just gonna lie. You saw them too, didn't you? Everyone pictured them, those definitely died. Unfortunately, as that is. Wait, actually, did I see everyone die? Did I? I didn't see you die. I did not see you die, did I? No, I saw them die. Save game. Okay. There's a human in the mix. This finger fair found me with a stun gun upgrade. How is that relevant? Be one human in the mix. Okay, these are both relevant. It has to do with one of these two people. Everything within this facility. The group of seven gets one human in the mix. Yeah. But not yet. Now Michi, victim, had no collar. Who do you think the doll died in the victim video? Now Michi has a hole in his stomach. This is now Michi. He has a hole in his stomach. <laughs> no? Isn't- is that not Naomichi? Naomichi literally has a hole in his stomach. I think he's dead. Oh god. Karamata's gotta be dull. I think we can confirm that. It's a case where they don't even realize they're human. I can kinda see that. Can I do this? This might not be that. No, I'm gonna be foolproof, but it's worth trying. Uh, I hate when they think I'm a dumbass. <laughs> oh my god. Finger. Okay. Kid named Finger? Um. Uh, Yinako said it's interesting. 
We all saw our deaths in the victim video. Hard to imagine a human mixing in. Did we? Did we really see all our deaths? I don't know. Now maybe she victim video has no collar. So if you think maybe the doll that we could still be him. <laughs> this is interesting. We all saw our deaths in the victim videos. I want to do something with this, but what do I do with it? Item? Upgrade parts. Give to him? <laughs> Settle down, Sarah. Okay. That was desperation, wasn't it? I'm already using desperation, guys. Uh, why do they make me think? Why am I playing thinking games? <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. They can give the doll special abilities. But I don't think it's relevant right now. It's relevant, of course, it's relevant. Wait, is Ren Ruin's victim video? He had white shoes, but started gray shoes. <laughs> Guys, please don't copy paste that theory. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> Oh my god, I know you guys are DMing each other. You guys are DMing each other so you can so you can say really, really you can say some goofy stuff. Do you think there's a case where someone doesn't even realize they're human? Mm, but, uh, mm, uh, I think someone's just, someone's lying, okay. I do not have I do not have good faith in people right now. Okay? You guys have hurt me before, and you guys killed Reiko. Not cool. Really not cool. <laughs> Guys, it's not me. Don't, it's not me giving up, okay? It's not me giving up. It's just me reaching the three hour mark. We have reached a lot of time for the stream. It's not me getting angry at the game, okay? I promise. Anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. Um, Arc Area Fact, thank you for showing up. Red Heavenly Dragon, thank you for showing up. Ravioli, Fire Blossom, Air Strife. Thank you guys so much for watching the stream today. I had a lot of fun. I feel like this, this chapter three, chapter three, one, chapter three, Part one B is really good. It's really good. I really like. I really like this. But I'm having a lot of fun. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Look forward to it. We'll probably finish your turn to die tomorrow. Bye.